Okay, so today I had to step away from everybody because there's too many people in the shop and just too much noise. We got a 2020 Ford F-150 with a 5.0 liter engine and it has a P2004 intake manifold runner code and it idles high, um, just really high. And here is the servo for it. And the actuator rod here on the bottom, it'll push in fine. But when you plug off this little vacuum port right here and you hold it, that thing pops back out immediately because this is not holding vacuum. And whenever I block it, I'll block it with my pinky. See, I got my pinky on the port down here. When I push in, it squishes the air right back out of the hole so the diaphragm inside is broke. It shouldn't do that with my finger blocking the hole. It should hold it. I shouldn't be able to move it up and down this easy like that. That's because that diaphragm is blown out inside this thing. So it's in all the way. Take my pinky off. Block it. Trying to do this with one hand and make sure that I got it sealed completely. Okay, there it is. It's blocked. Pops right back out. It shouldn't do that. That diaphragm inside this servo, this vacuum control actuator servo, whatever you want to call it, is cracked and it's throwing a P2004 code and the F-150 is idling high. So you got to pull the intake manifold off, kind of inspect everything, and you, you'll find that more than likely these servos, the diaphragm inside is no good. Got to put a new servo on it. Doesn't even have 3,000 miles on it yet. Thanks guys. Another thing that you can do is you can actually apply vacuum to that port right here on the bottom. This port right here. And see if it actually draws that in. And if it draws that in and releases fine. Or you put you push it in by your finger and then plug that port. And if it pops out on its own, that diaphragm is blown out. And you can actually feel the air gushing out of the portholes on the side of this thing right here. Like the diaphragm is just pushing everything back out right here.